how do I create and use a two-dimensional array? Let's declare and create a 2D array. So the first step in declaring and creating a 2D array is you need to know the type. Let's have an integer. Since it's a 2D array, let's have two subscript values, two square brackets, and then give the name of the array, and let's call it as board. And we're going to create the array now. So we're going to say new and type. Now we're going to give the size for the array. Let's create a three by three size. Number of rows are three and number of columns are three. So this is how I would create board array that's two dimension, that's type int, and the size is three by three. Now let's take a look at how do I declare and initialize initialize a 2D array. Remember, initializing means assigning an initial value. So int, two square brackets, and let's call our next array as course, and then we need to initialize it value. Remember, whenever we initialize a value, we are always having an opening brace and a closing brace. So it's always a good idea to neatly assign it. Uh, so I'm going to go in here and I'm going to initialize my first row and I'm going to give values for my first row. And my first row is complete. I'm separating each value by comma and my first row is complete. I will close that with a closing brace. Now I need to assign my next row values. So I'm going to say comma and go to the next row, have an opening brace, and put in some numbers for the next row, and again, comma, and this is my last row. So I'm going to open brace, put in some numbers, and then close the brace for that row, and then I'm going to finish initializing values for the array, and now I'm going to close that brace, and I'm going to end it with a semicolon. Now this is how I would declare and initialize a 2D array. Now also, we can declare and initialize a 2D array. Now also, we can declare and initialize a 2D array. And let's call this array as matrix. I'm going to initialize my array matrix. And I'm going to say my first row values are going to be 1, 2, 3 and I'm going to close that brace. That's my first row value. And for the next value, I'm going to put a comma and then have an opening brace for the next row. So I'm going to say next row is seven, three, and then I'm going to add one more number and close it. And then comma, my next row values are going to be 11, three, nine. Close it, comma, and my next row values going to be 23, 12, 45. And now we are done initializing our values for matrix. And let's have a closing brace and end it with a semicolon. Now we can declare and initialize values in the same line instead of having it this way. So it's fine whichever way you feel comfortable you can use any way to declare and initialize the array let's take a look at how do i print the array values now we have three arrays board scores and matrix and let's print the values for scores now in order for us to assess elements in the scores keep in mind we have rows and columns we need to iterate through each row and each column so we need two loops we need two for nested loops. So I'm going to say for int i equals to zero. i is less than scores dot length i plus plus and opening brace and closing brace. Now this is for our row. Now same thing we want to do for our column. So we're going to have another nested loop for, for int j equals to zero. j is less than scores dot length and 
G++. Now we need to print these values. So I'm going to say system dot out dot print. We can run it and see which one of print. And our array is course and you're printing the value of I and you're printing the value of J. Now once the elements are printed for that row, always make sure that print a blank line so that you could go to the next row. Always print a new line. So I'm going to say, actually, you know what? I'm going to print a new line. I'm going to print a new line in here. Now let's compile it. We forgot to put our pre closing brace. We forgot to put our closing parenthesis in here. Now let's compile it. That's not O, that's zero. And let's run. So it's printing those numbers. Now also, but it looked like it's just printing one number, 648, 648. Now when we printed our array, it kind of looked like single number 648, 348, 273. So we need to make sure we put spaces in between those two. So let's fix that. So this is a place where we are printing the value. So now what we're going to do is we're going to look into our value in here. And after the value is printed, we're going to add an empty space in here. So now let's compile it. And let's print the values. Now if you see this empty space in between. So this is how we have printed our two-dimensional array.